All right, welcome back YouTube. Today we got something different that we don't see on this channel very often. 15 millimeter. So once a year I like to do a platoon or two of uh, 15 mil infantry. Uh, some of you might know, as I've stated before, that I started out uh, in wargaming about 10, 11 years ago, and I did uh, started out in Flames of War version three. Friend, friend in the army got me into it. Uh, I didn't know anything besides Warhammer, Flames of War, and and Dungeons and Dragons existed at that time. I thought that was it. So you know, I wasn't really. I'm still not into Warhammer at all. Uh, but this is what they played at my local game store there. They had Flames of War and 40k. And so I really liked World War II, so I was like, well shit, I'll do this. Bought an American Paratrooper Army, tried painting it, painted it like shit. And these were like the pre-YouTube days, uh, where you had to figure shit out on your own. Uh, you know, 2010, there really wasn't YouTube. Not like there is now, there was YouTube, but not like... Where you can just be like, how to paint Waffen SS, how to paint US Marines, and you could pull up painting guides. There was none of that. And so you had the books, and the Battlefront books were good. They're, they're like the old uh, GW books. They'd have, these are the Vallejo colors to use for this and this and this, and you'd go through and you'd try and match it. Uh, my local game store did not, they carried a little bit of Vallejo, but they carried a lot of uh, Citadel paints. So I had to try and match with citadels just by my naked eye. Uh, you know, I had tons of books on World War II, on uh, military and uniforms, and I would just go through and try and match, but that army turned out like shit. Uh, and it was a complete, it was the starter paratrooper army with I think like a Sherman, Sherman's added on or something like that. Uh, but I had started collecting a German force on top of that. Uh, I only painted like 10-15% of it before I had my giant hiatus, my 6-7 uh, year hiatus from the hobby. Uh, but I collected a good amount of it. And through the years, uh, through a divorce and through like 5 moves, when I finally get settled and moved to my house, I found all of it. All of it version 3 resin and metal battlefront stuff. And this was one of the things I found. Uh, these guys were primed on bases. They weren't based, they weren't painted, but these were originally, I think, Waffen SS uh, Panzer Pioneers. <clears throat> and so, and the reason why I could tell is, is one, they had smocks on, or, you know, a lot of the figures have smocks. Two, some of the figures in the tunics have the National Eagle on their arm, as opposed to the breast which would have been common for hair troops. So these guys are, I, I'm pretty sure they're Waffen SS. Now I, I, I don't want a Waffen SS force, I just want a regular hair force. So I painted them, I don't know how well that's coming across. Um, these little guys are difficult. So I painted them with the, uh, the splinter camouflage. I don't know how, that, how well that's coming across. So uh, we got three squads of nine men, uh, two LMG teams on each, each, you know, each squad has two LMGs. Um, one squad has a flamethrower, one squad has the Goliath, and then two of the squads have those uh, breaching demo charges for obstacles and mines and whatnot, in addition to their, uh, their other equipment there. Some of them have the special Pioneer uh, equipment packs to carry all their engineering equipment um, and then I did two two command stands back there one a later war Guy with the Panzer Faust and then uh, just a regular SMG command team because in flames uh, Version 3 it's a lot different now. They did away with like all the command teams and everything but used to used to have to have multiple command teams with your companies you know every platoon would have a command team and then your company headquarters would have command teams and then your support platoons would have command teams so you ended up needing a shit ton of command teams for your armies and uh you know i think i have about six or seven for this army and then of course depending on the command team you know they could be upgraded with different weapons so you ended up having different versions you could have a i know for like panzer you could have like a panzer knacker 
uh, command team, which was dudes with magnetic minds, or you could have Panzerfaust command teams, which are dudes with Panzerfaust. So you had to have a little bit of everything in your command teams. Uh, but yeah, these are these guys. Um, pretty cool. I do paint the bases um, to the color of the Waffen farb of the unit. So Pioneers are black. They had black uh, shoulder board uh, Waffen farb in the in the German army. Uh, Panzer Grenadiers would have been a green. Infantry would have been a white. Um, reconnaissance and cavalry would have been yellow. Uh, Panzers would have been pink. So on and so on. Um, every branch of the army had those colors. Um, so I, I do these guys in, uh, in black. My Panzer Grenadiers are green. Um, I do the command teams. I haven't done them yet. They're, they're edging. But I do them in white, just so I know they're command teams. Uh, because the command teams can go, you know, they can go from, you can use them in, if, you know, they're not going to be branch specific. You can use them in infantry and artillery and cavalry and panzer, you know, armored infantry, non-armored infantry, whatever. So that's just kind of how I do it. Uh, yeah, I mean, they turned out good. Uh, I just got a little bit of touch-ups to do. I missed, you know, some canteens and some gas mask canisters here and there so I could go through and touch them up and then obviously put the flocking on them but uh pretty pretty easy to paint up so that's you know 30 figures down or so uh and it's now August 2nd so I got these dies done uh, I'm gonna dive uh into what's left of the ECW pile after this I only have a 36 man unit and then some casualties to paint up and that's it so I think my goal is you know it's about 45 odd figures get all of that shit painted up in the month of august and then uh that, that'll be it i'll have to buy more ecw stuff but luckily i still got enough uh early war german blitzkrieg stuff and i do have i do have a couple units of persians i could start working on so start to work on all that stuff but uh yeah i would give a little close-ups here these figures are really nice. The old, uh, the old, the old uh, Battlefront stuff was really good. Such dynamic, good poses, good action poses. You can see the Goliath there. Wanted to do it more of the later war, so I chose the Dukengelb. You know, a lot of, you know, half of these guys have smocks on. I painted them all with helmet covers. So yeah, a flamethrower guy on the right there. Machine gun teams. So, you know, it turned out pretty good, pretty happy with them. So, uh, I don't rush on this, on the, you know, I have, I probably have enough for about 3,000 points. And I've added to it since then, because it wasn't a coherent force um, for Flames of War. When I, when I finally unboxed and saw what I had, I, I was, I still needed like an extra platoon of infantry. I still need, I still needed trucks and I still need more half tracks and I still need 88s. So I still need to buy some more half tracks and 88s, and then it will mostly be a, a good list, uh, a complete army that I can field. You know, I can do. I have a lot of options for. So, uh, but yeah, I don't paint them very often because I don't have. There's no one I play this game. I play 15 mil stuff with. I got battle group. I got the battle group rules. Um, which you can use for 28 millimeter, and I and from what I understand, uh, Alan Smith Wargaming, he's done it in 28 and 15. Uh, but I think I don't plan on playing any more Flames of War. But just because most of the army is based in the Flames of War convention here with the with the multi basing, I'm going to keep with that. Um, technically, for battle group, you don't multi base; it's all individual base. I mean, all that means is, is you just need casualty counters for your for your units there. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to keep like that, and they're easier to move around like this, especially with such a small scale. So, yeah, that's this week's painting update. Holy Diver, if you're watching, buy some 15 mil Russians. That should be your project for next year. The easiest army you'll ever paint in your life. So, uh, but until then, guys, keep on painting.